officially declared Tuesday as Tip Tuesday on my channel. Typically, I think I'm going to do Tip Tuesday as like a, um, like quick video, but today we're going to do a holiday Tip Tuesday, so it's going to be a little bit longer than I would usually do one. This is the tips that we are going over for today. I wrote them down, so if you see me looking down, that's probably what I'm doing. Oh, and do you guys like my hat? Oh, how do I like... I want to zoom out so that I can, so you can see my beautiful hat. My room's kind of junky right now because I'm in the middle of moving my craft space. But um, don't you guys like my hat? It's a little Mickey Mouse hat, Christmas hat. And look at, <laughs> I love this. Look, ha ha folks, I'm Mickey Mouse. I love this. I love this. This is like my life. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so we have travel tips, party tips, and uh, gift tips, and after holiday sales tips. Alright, so let's get into the first one. The first one is travel. Travel during Christmas time can be a nightmare. <laughs> I remember I traveled like every Christmas because I usually, my mom and my dad um, are divorced and so I used to go to his house like almost every Christmas and so we were always on the road during like Christmas time. So here are some tips. If you are traveling as a family, so if you're like a mom, a dad, and some kids, here are the tips for you guys. Make sure that you bring activities for the kids. Otherwise, they're probably going to drive you nuts. I know because I was a kid that drove my mom crazy. And I'm pretty sure I still drive her crazy. Hi, Mom. I love you. Bring games, activities. Um, and by activities, I mean like, you know, like crossword puzzles or um, word searches or coloring books. And one of the things my mom did for us when we were little, which was so cool, was she had us dry erase boards for the car so we could like draw and then like erase and the hence dry erase. That was so stupid for me to explain that. But anyways, we would draw stuff on there or sometimes we would play like hangman or tic-tac-toe. So there's all kinds of things you can do like that. Another thing you can do is play games that have to do with your surroundings. So like you could do the ABC game, people play it differently, but we would play, like the driver starts and they find a sign or, or license plate or whatever that has an A. And then the passenger would find a B and then the person behind them would find a C, D, blah, blah, you know, goes on and on. And um, that was always fun because there's people that were stuck with like the letter Q and J and like took forever for them to find it. So that was always funny. But um, yeah, so that's a fun game. And we also played a game called Who Am I? Which is, I feel like my family is like traditional road trip game. And it is, um, somebody starts and you pick a person. It could be a celebrity, a cartoon. It can be a product, I guess, if you wanted it to be. And you basically like give hints as to what it is and then the person who wants to guess it has to say me and then you let them guess. If they get it wrong you keep going if they get it right then they're the next person who gets to be the who of who am I. So for example I would say I'm a boy I'm not a boy but um the character okay I don't want to get it confused here I'm a girl but this is what how you play the game if you're picking a boy you'd say I'm a boy um I'm poor I have a friend that's a monkey, I'm a cartoon, I like a really pretty princess, anybody know who it is? Anybody? Anybody? Alright, so you keep going and if somebody was like, me, Aladdin, then I'd be like, yes, it's Aladdin, and then they get to go. And you can pick, obviously, boys, girls, animals, all kinds of stuff, and it's a fun game. Alright, also, if you're traveling with family, make sure that you are that you bring like pillows, blankets, and snacks for the car so that people can be comfortable and you're not going to hear the kids complaining or you're not going to be complaining or, you know, it's not going to be stopped. Every, you're not going to have to stop like every 10 minutes for food, stuff like that. So that's my tips for families traveling for the holidays. If you're traveling with friends, um, see if they are willing to switch on and off with you driving so that you are not a tired mess driving. So maybe you drive for you know, whatever, however, three hours, two hours, and they take 
a nap or something or hang out with you and then you switch on and off that's a great idea another thing is also you guys can play games obviously the car kind of games not like not like monopoly or something you're gonna have to play like the abc game or something like that um music you can play music in the car one thing that's fun is like you know playing music you know, playing your friend's music for, you know, whatever, 20 minutes and then switching and then just mixing it up. Um, so that way you're not like stagnant on the same music. And last is stop. Stop at a Starbucks, a gas station, a rest stop, anything like that, just so you get out, walk around and kind of like shake it off, get a snack, get back in the car so that you're not, you know, you don't feel like you're just stuck in traffic or just stuck driving. Um, don't make too many stops, but you know, enough that you feel like rejuvenated, I should say. Um, and if you're traveling alone, which is a bummer, um, music once again, um, and mix up the music. If you play the same radio station the whole way to wherever you're going or the same kind of music, you're going to be bored because we all know radio stations play like the same songs every hour, like every hour and a half. And okay, you're going to get really tired of hearing like the same Justin Bieber song like 10 times in a row. Yeah. Um, also, put your essentials in the passenger seat, like your purse, um, if you have snacks or anything like that, so they're really handy. Remember, do not be on your phone while you're driving, but if you want to have it close to you, put it over there in that section so that if you get a phone call or something and you need to take it, you can, but don't text and drive. Do not text and drive. And um, also, same thing for you, make a stop. I recommend making a stop at somewhere um, like a Starbucks or even like a Target or Walmart, something like that, because if you're the only person in your car traveling, sometimes it's a little bit scary and so you want to be surrounded by people that, like, like a little stop like that, like a drive through for Starbucks or a drive through for McDonald's or just a Target where you can get out, like walk out and other people are going to be there. Um, I don't recommend, if you're traveling alone, I do not recommend rest areas at night. Daytime, you're probably safe, but rest areas I do not recommend at night. So, um, just if you're traveling alone. If you're traveling, like, with other people or family, it's probably going to be okay because people aren't probably going to, they're probably not going to bother you. And even alone, they, they probably won't going to, they're probably not going to bother you. But just, you know, be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be careful. Alright, so that is my tips for traveling. Oops, sorry, I have one more tip. My other tip for traveling is if you right now are going, I don't know what I'm going to do for Christmas, you know, I don't know if I'm going to go home to my like family or I don't know if I'm going to stay home. I don't really know what to do. Right now you can get some of the best deals on cruises. I know not everybody lives in a city where there are cruise ports, but I live in Florida and there are a ton of them. <laughs> and I believe Texas, New Orleans, Baltimore, and California maybe have some cruise ports so if you're close to one of those you can you know check that out or you can fly to a place but um there's a website I will put it in the description box it's called vacations to go they have the best cruise deals you can type in the days that you want to go where you want to go and it'll give you this list of every cruise line that is going to those places for that amount of days it'll give you a price range it'll give you information about the ship it's amazing I always book my travel through them when I go on cruises and um they're like amazing and Cruises right now are so cheap, so such a good, like such an amazing deal. So if you don't know what you're doing for the holidays, go check out your cruises. And um, yeah, all right, moving on to our next tip: holiday parties. This thing is itching my head a little bit, but just a little bit. Okay. All right, holiday parties. Holiday parties are so much fun, but they can be really stressful and people get like really kind of like cuckoo about them. So here are some tips to make it easier on you and fun for everyone. So when I do holiday parties, I always have everyone bring a dish. It doesn't have to be something crazy. It can be a dip, like chips and dip. It could be a dessert. It could be whatever they want. Just bring a dish that you like and that other people would want to enjoy. And it's really cool because you there's all kinds of variety of foods there. Um, usually as the host, I will cook like kind of like a main thing. Like a couple years ago, uh, my husband and I hosted a Christmas party and he did pulled pork, like barbecue pulled pork, and I did uh, bacon, macaroni and cheese. And then people brought like chips and dips and desserts and stuff like that. So 
that's something really good so that you don't have to be stressed on cooking all this food and you don't have to spend all kinds of crazy money on food. All right, next thing is if for entertainment, a lot of people are like, what do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? Just pick a couple things and go with it. We always do an ugly Christmas sweater and we do a gift exchange. So it kind of takes up the time and that's our activity and we just talk and have fun also, you know. Um, music, just put on Pandora, put on some Christmas music. It's relaxing and enjoyable for all. And the last thing is, this is really cool. This is a decor. It kind of freaks people out because they're like, should I decorate more for a holiday party? Should I add more this, add more that? No, okay, just leave your house decorated the way it's decorated. And uh, one of the cool things though that you can do for a Christmas party is go to the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree where everything's a dollar, not the Dollar Store, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. And they will have like sheet pans. They're like smaller sheet pans than you can get at, like that you would get at like Walmart or whatever. They're a buck and get some chalkboard paint. You can get it from Joann's and if you use your Joann's coupons, which you will, you can get all the time if you have the app, it has coupons on it and you can get it for a discount and chalkboard paint it or spray paint it. Put your food items like in a bowl or whatever on those pans and then write what it is and maybe draw a little Santa hat or rocking or something and it's really decorative and you can give it away at the end of the party just be like here here's a chalkboard display pan that you can use at your own holiday party or as a menu board at your house all right so that's my holiday party tips all right only a few more gift ideas diys are great for gift ideas everybody loves diy gifts okay well maybe not everybody but i like diy gifts so if you're gonna give me a gift that's DIY. I know that it came from the heart and that it's something that you really took your time to make and I just love that. So uh, think about that. Also personal touches. If you, well let me show you a DIY gift really quick. First of all I made this infinity scarf and it's really soft and really cool and um, this is something that you could give away. Just wrap it up, put it in a bag, put a bow on it. Really cool and you made it and it's something nice that somebody could use. But then personal touches. Um, if you watch my previous video, I show you how to make um, gift tag, or not gift tags, gift bows. And you can, pers you can personalize your gifts with those. One of my best friends loves Ariel. And I just happen to have this, so it just reminded me of it. I made this out of perler beads. Everybody knows what perler beads are. They're like the coolest thing ever. And um, you could just like attach this on with a gift as like a fun little thing. It's cute and it's something that'll make them smile. Also, you don't have to spend a lot of money, like at all. You could get something like this. It's like a little wooden, like inspirational kind of thingy. And it's really cute. And I love what it says and then you could put like maybe like a candle holder and a candle from like the Dollar Tree with it and there's a really simple easy gift. This was like this was six bucks from Home Goods, and then you have some Dollar Tree goodies. Okay and the most important thing about gifts is think about the gift and think about the person. Just think about what they like and you know just tailor it towards them and just get a few things. You don't have to go out and spend all this money on Christmas. You really don't. And like I said, DIYs are great. You can make some really great presents from DIYs. And the last thing I'm going to tell you guys about is after holiday sales. And this is just a really easy tip. Um, and this is mainly just for like DIY is if you are going like the wreath that I made, um, I have a video tutorial on that. That wreath, I got almost all that stuff for sale last year at 50% off. Target has amazing holiday stuff and you can get it for great deals after the holidays. Same with any other place, Walmart, um, Pier 1. Pier 1 has beautiful things just for decor and they'll have their stuff on sale. Also, right now, if you have last minute things you need to get or last minute like gift wrapping or anything like that, go to Joey and Fabric. They are amazing. And go online, register for their coupons, get their app. Uh, they always have coupons on their app and they're like 40% off of one item or 50% off one item or sometimes they have 20% off your whole purchase or 15% off your whole purchase and you can get a lot of good things there. And they always take the discount off the highest ticketed item, 
how cool is that? So you'll have to like separate your transactions. So those are my tips for Tip Tuesday. Like I said, this video will not be this long in the future. It'll be short and sweet, but I want to do a holiday one. So it's a little bit longer, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment. Also just comment and tell me what your tips are for the holidays and like this video, subscribe if you have not and follow me on Instagram. The name is it's underscore me underscore Chris D. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day and um, there'll be a couple more videos before Christmas and um, I hope you enjoy them. All right. Bye.